on how to be able to use the hair steamer and to check to see if there's any leak um, with the beaker itself. Now when you do receive it, you do have the hexagon shaped beaker. Now you always want to do is you want to make sure you close the cap, black cap tightly into its place. Make sure it's really tight and turn it upside down where it will automatically fill up inside the steamer. Now, if you notice any leakage onto coming out of the steamer itself, one way to actually test it out is that you can actually get a cup on this empty cup or you can get a little bit of water filled up and to test to see if there's any leakage because the only way it could leak, it could be from the beaker itself or from the cap that gets screwed onto it. And I can get to show it to you from here. So for instance, if we close it, as you see, it fills up by itself and you place it in and you'll check to see if there's any leakage coming from anywhere up on the ridges, on the black piece or the beaker itself. If you notice there's no leakage, then majority of, I mean, I could say almost 100%, it shouldn't give you any leakage at all. And that's how you can be able to actually check to see if there's any leakage. But if there is still continuous leakage with this, um, then probably you would have to change your container. It would be either the black rubber um, gasket that sits around it or it would be the beaker itself. And that's how you check it.